Hello, I'm Alec Cole, CEO of the Western Australian Museum. One of the Western Australian Museum's responsibilities is to administer the Western Australian Maritime Archaeology Act of 1973. This piece of legislation was created to protect the state's maritime archaeological sites and associated materials, both underwater and on land. In short, the Maritime Archaeology Act protects the wrecks and artefacts of historic ships lost in Western Australian state waters before 1900. It also protects maritime archaeological sites considered to be associated with such shipwrecks, including land-based sites such as shipwreck survivor camps. The problem is that the Act is 50 years old and is hopelessly out of date. Whether it is the definition of an historic shipwreck, the scale of penalties, or the loopholes that have emerged over the years, the Act just does not cut it anymore. Furthermore, there have been significant regulatory developments since 1973. In 2001, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, passed the Convention for the Protection of Underwater Cultural Heritage. In response to this, our federal government enacted the 2018 Commonwealth Underwater Cultural Heritage Act. The terms and conditions of these important instruments are at odds with our own act and it is necessary for us to bring our act into line with both the Convention and the Federal Act. Just as importantly, we need to provide protection for important maritime archaeological sites and artefacts that are currently not covered by any of the legislation, federal or state. We need to close those loopholes. To this end, we're undertaking a review of our Maritime Archaeology Act, the first since its enactment 50 years ago to ensure that it meets WA's commitments under Australian law and conforms to international best practice, but importantly also to ensure that it is truly fit for purpose. The proposed changes to the Maritime Archaeology Act will contribute to more effective identification, documentation, preservation, protection and interpretation of Western Australia's maritime cultural heritage. The WA Museum is consulting with relevant stakeholders as part of this review. As an interested party, I'm inviting you to contribute your thoughts and opinions. In a moment, our Western Australian Museum maritime archaeologists, Dr. Ross Anderson and Deb Sheffy, will talk you through the proposed changes. Thank you in anticipation of your participation. Thank you, Alec. My name is Dr. Ross Anderson, and I'm a part of the project team here at Western Australian Museum reviewing the Maritime Archaeology Act. This review has enabled us to identify significant changes to our current legislation. These changes include an updated act will protect maritime archaeological sites over 75 years old. It will also enable declaration of sites younger than 75 years old. In the updated act, maritime archaeological sites to be automatically protected will include shipwrecks, submerged, abandoned maritime infrastructure, aircraft and other vehicles over 75 years old. The updated act will enable historic maritime resource industry sites older than 75 years to be protected as maritime archaeological sites, subject to a heritage assessment. The existing Maritime Archaeology Act penalties are outdated and will be updated to reflect current practice. I will now pass over to my colleague, Dr. Deb Sheffy, to discuss the other proposed changes and detail how to participate in the consultation. Thank you, Ross. My name is Dr. Deb Sheffy, and I'm part of the project team here at the WA Museum reviewing the Maritime Archaeology Act. As mentioned by Ross, the review has enabled us to identify significant changes to our current legislation. Ross has talked through some of those changes, and I will now talk through the rest. An updated act will allow for the issuing of permits to disturb maritime archaeological sites according to approved conditions being met. The updated act will ensure vesting provisions in relation to land-based sites are removed and replaced with options of lodging a memorial or creating a reserve. An updated act will align with accepted maritime jurisdictions. An updated act will establish a register of protected maritime archaeological sites and artifacts. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope this has helped your understanding of the changes being proposed. There's more information and access to the online consultation capturing tool available on the WA Museum website via the link shown on your screen. 
We look forward to receiving your feedback and shaping legislation that will hold us in good stead well into the future. Thank you.